XRP, XRP, XRP. The Bulls are getting ready to run out the gates, family. Can't you feel it? Hi, Vibe Assets. Welcome back to today's show. I got a good one for you today. You know every time that you click on this channel, the content is going to be bullish. Go ahead and give me a follow on my Twitter page at High Vibe Assets. Without further ado, let's go ahead and kick off today's show. We are really in this massive global competition all over the world for the future of our financial infrastructure. I believe that much of that is going to come from disruptive financial technologies uh, like crypto, like fintech. Uh, and the country that captures the talent that's building out these really fascinating financial rails um, is going to find themselves in the next three to five years very much at the at the center of the global of our global financial uh, infrastructure. I'm really pleased that attention is now focused on the role that cryptos can play. There are some cryptos that are working with regulators and who are working with banks. I agree. Ripple right. would be an example. Ripple would be an example, right. Now this is a, and I can, I can imagine in the next five years, instead of us doing sterling against the dollar or sterling against yen and doing these kinds of transactions, we'll do sterling versus Ripple. And the reason being dollar right now is a two day settlement. With something like Ripple, you could do settlement in seconds. It has become evidently clear that Ripple is the Amazon of crypto and XRP is the greatest digital asset ever created being at the center of this new global financial system and that's essentially what we're seeing right now playing out again banking crisis let's not forget about that we need a technological revolution to come and help save that problem no strovostro accounts 185 trillion dollar cross-border payment problem that ripple and xrp and the xrp ledger merged in with the interledger protocol is coming in and saving that problem without a doubt. The biggest institutions, their non disclosures agreements, there is no secret that the biggest companies in the world and governments, financial structures, are working with Ripple and XRP. This is the reason why Brad Garlinghouse told us that they are going to drive a massive, massive, huge, massive, explosive demand for xrp because of the use case that they're solving is a multi-trillion dollar problem i will even put that all the way up into quadrillions because when you're talking about the settlements of the fx settlements and derivatives foreign exchange markets cross-border payments the tokenization of all assets things are getting very explosive we are right on the tip before this thing jumps off once we understand that the world understands and once they flip that switch and give the green light, XRP is going to blow up like a damn nuclear bomb. 100%. This is what things are shaping out to be. No more fear and uncertainty and doubt. Make sure that you hit that like button. Make sure that you smash that subscribe button. This is what it's all about, family. Every time that you come on a High Vibes channel, the content is going to be bullish. I just want to put things into a perspective, and I want to let you guys know how early that we are in crypto innovation. Remember, the Internet of Information, it took about 25 years to now it is birthing the reason why I'm able to get on live and stream and you can able to be here, the High Vibes. Everything that we do now evolves around the Internet of Information. We need a technological revolution to fast forward our financial system and our economy the same way that the Internet of Information did. You tell me, what do you do in your life today without the Internet of Information? You have your cell phone in your hand every day, don't you? That essentially compasses up our lives. This is what the Internet of Finance, this is what the Internet of Value is coming to do to our lives right now. Look at the price of Bitcoin on the 4th of July out throughout all the years. 2009, 0, 10, 1 cent, 15, dollars in 11, 2016, 670 dollars, 2018, 6,500, 11,000, 2021, 34,000. These are astronomical numbers 
Just imagine if you've been a crypto martyr from day one and you've been able to get into Bitcoin since 2012. Your lives have automatically changed, have drastically changed. And this is not just the Bitcoin, which was the first digital asset on the scene. And the guinea pig, I will say, the experiment. Now we're going to use these digital assets, these cryptocurrencies to come into the financial sector. And a lot of people believe that blockchain and distributed ledger technology is going to replace correspondent banking, going to replace the legacy payment system, which when you think about it in the long run, that's exactly what it's going to do. But the first phase, it's going to merge in and it's going to give it a facelift, especially when you're talking about XRP and when you're dealing with payments. We've seen over and over on this channel the amount of use cases that you have with XRP when you're talking about these underlying protocols that's going to be merging in together with their interoperability. But XRP has been at the center of this new global financial system ever since day one. I got a video right here of Big Brad Garlinghouse again around the world speaking about what this agnostic exchange token, what is it going to do? Who as it's been working with? How long it's been tested, when is it going to be implemented, and exactly what is it going to do to this brand new financial system? Your question is perfect, because I, I, I do think that some of the origins of blockchain and crypto were all about creating a separate, almost parallel financial system. And I think even as this panel and the structure is talked about the metaverse, I think about it really as the connective bridges, the it's not about a separate financial system. It's how do we use these technologies to improve the existing financial system? Ripple has been focused on selling into financial institutions for five, six years. We have hundreds of institutions. Just yesterday, we announced the first corridor between the Middle East and the U.S. dollar using digital assets to facilitate real-time money movements. Mm -hmm. We see this vision of a really enabling an internet of value. We talk about an internet of things, an internet of information that we live in today. And as Nick was introducing, I think that the future will enable the free flow of value in a way that truly is more inclusive and more democratizing to an, an, an economy that has fewer borders and includes more people. We're already seeing that, right, in, in parts of the uh, world. Lots of parts of the world are already in, using this technology. For sure. I mean, I think one of the things, uh, uh, to my knowledge, uh, this is a, well the first time I have been to FII, and I think it's indicative of the, the trend line of crypto that we have a panelist of three very senior people in the crypto industry on stage here. And it, it, yeah, the trend line overall is more people, more countries, more regulatory clarity, uh, more countries understanding how these can be leveraged to actually benefit their economies. I think the origins of, hey, it's for illicit purposes has really started to move into the background. And we've heard that plenty of times on this channel, how essentially like that narrative of, you know, money laundering and scams. Look, bro, that was, man, that was 2012. This is the birth of the fourth industrial revolution. This is the opportunity to where digital assets will get their day to shine or the sun is going to shine on digital assets. Think about it like this, family. All of the government's financial institutions around the world has already already given the green light on crypto okay there isn't really anything other than we can expect other out this year within the next two years because all of the big players have already given the green light to crypto now we just need to see those deals and those non-disclosure agreements they're going to expire here soon I got a couple of slides for you later on in today's show and just giving you exactly how big that this technology is especially XRP coming in and disrupting payments, solving the payment systems. Swift is moving $26 trillion a day. We understand that XRP is going to be moving on that blockchain as a currency. Okay. Same thing with MoneyGram. Same thing with a lot of the Western unions in the big financial institutions that move money around. We understand how XRP is already sitting on the government body of the ISO 20022 council as well. This is the moment and this is the time to where you need to add to those bags. You might not be able to get XRP for under a dollar here soon. ...of the exchange marketplace in such a way that uh, allows us to have quicker settlement and all the benefits that come along with that? I, I strongly believe we do. So you're talking about the number of uh, 
forces that are actually happening in parallel. So U.S. side, unrelated to digital assets, we have the accelerated settlement that's in, in flight when we're waiting for some guidance from the regulators in terms of when is the, the go live date for that. And in there, we're moving from a T2 to a T1 execution. And Deloitte actually has been behind it. We've been supporting in this industry working group to put the proposal in front of the regulator and, and move forward with that. That, that. that has nothing to do with with digital asset. However, the analogy I'll put in place, we've been supporting, when we supported T3 to T2, it was more of you, you squeeze another all in your, belt, in your belt. So you squeeze the belt on, you get it within existing processes. When you are moving from a T2 to a T1, it clearly requires an underlying changes of the supported technology. Now, it doesn't look at the exchanges, but it looks at the process that supports around the exchanges. So how do you work around, you know, with, be, between between the, 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 the capital markets players, the buy, the sell side, the buy side players, within existing uh, processes today, the batch processes that will not be able to afford the timing, and how do you lean on a more automated technology? And that's where digital ledger technology will come into place with automated, you know, instantaneous settlements or atomic settlement help helping those those uh, processes. However, it will require massive change to existing processes. You know, some of the businesses that we do today, like repo or cross border that Richard was speaking about, will need to change to account for that or the notion of netting. Now, going back to your question, John, it, will this happen within the next five years? Yes, I think it will require, uh, and I will speak about some of the ideas we're doing this case, it will require what I call a private public collaboration where the industry will come and say, we are proposing to use, to change those processes, A, to move to a T plus one and long term to move to a T plus. And this is coming from Deloitte family. We understand how Deloitte and Ripple have been tied in bed together. This is what I'm trying to get people to understand that this is the moment that 2023 is the year of the digital asset. It is time. It is now. We're going to continue to see different verticals that are being shaping out from all of these different digital asset companies and conglomerates as well. Look at here what we're seeing again. We have Ripple, XRP Ledger, the XRPL, makes history with its introduction of first mortgage backed stable coins family mortgaged backed stable coins this is the tokenization of all assets real estate pharmaceuticals government bonds treasury bonds nfts entertainment go on and so forth you can continue to name it let's not forget about how ripple has already been in the cbdc space with their partnership with the central bank of montenegro let's not forget about that as well do you see the picture that i'm trying to paint for everybody on the high vibe channel and letting you know that 2023 is the year of the digital asset and they have already given it a go we are about to experience a cambrian explosion in this brand new digital asset space, especially for the greatest digital asset ever created, XRP. And it continues to get better. It continues to get more bullish. It continues to be more in fruition to everybody that still want to sit on the sidelines and you don't want to believe. You're still thinking it's a scam. You're still thinking it's a scheme. You still don't understand or not really convinced that this is the next wave of technology, that this is the next wave that is going to come into our lives, the fourth industrial revolution. BlackRock, we understand this is the biggest asset under management company in the world which basically owns everything you go into your local grocery store family and all of these different companies that selling food and selling products and selling shampoo and selling you know toilet paper whatever that it is when you go into their store they're probably either owned by blackrock or it's probably either owned by vanguard <laughs> okay either one they're in the digital asset space they're full-fledged on tokenization. Larry Fink, the CEO, has been an advocate of distributed ledger technology, especially the agnostic exchange token like XRP that's going to calibrate these cross-border payments and settlements that they're losing millions of dollars of. 
Continuing to be an advocate of the tokenization of all assets, especially with the bond market and the treasury markets as well. NASDAQ refiles block rocks, black rocks, Bitcoin ETFs application with the SEC. They're coming right back at them. They're not stopping on this. They know exactly what this is coming. That was quick. That was like a week ago or two weeks ago. Okay. Once this gets approved and once this thing gets ready, we have to understand family, the biggest asset management company in the world backdoor with NASDAQ backdoor with Fidelity backdoor with Vanguard, the tsunami of money that's going to come into this brand new digital asset space. It's going to be a damn hurricane. <laughs> Thanks for everyone tuning in to today's show. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and turn on those notifications. This is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. But please let everyone know that the high vibe said that the bulls are getting ready to run out the damn gates. Yeah.